Well, Google's dialing for dollars in the mobile market, finally unveiling its rumored smartphone. So does Nexus One have Apple's number or what? CNN's Sarah Barnett watched the big rollout and has been checking out online reactions. So what do you think? Are you buying it? I don't know, Kira. Look, it's nice, shiny, does a lot as well. And we only just confirmed all the cool snazzy details of this phone that so many tech-savvy people had been blogging about for weeks now. Google says that this is a super phone uh, with the most up-to-date Android software, Android 2.1. They say it's completely designed by Google and you'll have to purchase this through the Google Web Store. So as we click around, a new site that just went active at google.com forward slash google um Google phone slash tour with the specs. It's thinner than a pencil, lighter than a pocket knife. It has a camera with flash with five megapixels. What does that mean? Well, it means that there's five million little dots that make up the picture on this camera. It has the GPS, the accelerometer, a compass, all the devices you'd expect to come along with a phone like this. But now the question, and the, the key too, we just heard from the people uh, from Google, is that they want this to be customizable. You can have applications, five different home pages. You also get the Google Maps and Google Earth and Gmail and those things, but you can create your own apps to put onto this phone as well. The big question though, price. They are making this available in the United States, but you can believe it's pretty steep. Without a cell phone carrier, this will run you about $529. So the other option is to uh, purchase this phone through T-Mobile, it will cost about $179. They now want to make this also available outside the United States. So they're saying this is the very first truly all Google phone available today for everyone to pick up. It's very snazzy and pretty sharp, Kira. I'm not sure what you think. iPhone killer, what do you think? That's what some speculate, and we really don't think that this is going to completely change the game. Consider how popular the iPhone application store is. They announced today that some 3 billion apps have been downloaded. They offer more than 100,000. Google has about 16,000 apps, so they're not going to be able to compete in that aspect. And, of course, the price is an issue as well. The reality is the, the smartphone marketplace has just become a bit more crowded, and you, the viewers, the consumers, will now decide just how much of an iPhone killer, this Google phone Nexus One will be, but there'll be many folks talking about this through the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, which is taking place later this week. Kira? I know, I'm looking at all the pictures right now. They're all over the place. Errol, thanks so much. Sure. <laughs>